Hey guys, James here from James Set Production with another Reaper tutorial. When mixing the bass guitar in metal, many mix engineers like to split the bass DI into a low end track and a top end track so that they can control them separately. Some people even split the bass into three bands, one for high frequencies, one for mid frequencies, and one for low frequencies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this kind of split band processing for bass with just one click or one keyboard shortcut in Reaper, like this. I click this button and boom, the bass DI is split into three tracks and each track has its own dedicated FX chain so you don't have to do it manually every time. I do want to mention that there are plugins that do the split band processing internally and allow you to control the different bands within the plugin itself. I actually reviewed a fantastic one last week called Mammoth by Aurora DSP and you can check it out in the corner over here. But there are obviously benefits of doing it in the old fashioned way. So let's dive in. If you don't have it already, make sure you have the SWS extension installed. I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. Now I'm going to first show you how to set up the base DI for two band processing. If you want to know how to do it for three bands, go to this timestamp. So the goal is to turn a base DI track into a grid track, which is the top end, a bottom track, which is the low end, and lastly, a folder track called base so you can do further processing on the bass guitar as a whole or just use it as a fader control all with just one click or a keyboard shortcut like so the first thing you want to do is in a new reaper project create one empty track so i have one here now add the plugins you typically use for the grid track. So usually you would have an EQ to filter out the low end and then an MSIM for the bass tone. Some people like to cut out the low end before the MSIM and some people like to do it after the MSIM. It doesn't matter, just do it the way you want it. If you want to add more plugins, go ahead. You can add as many as you want. You would want to save this FX chain. So go to FX, save FX chain and give it a name. I'm gonna name it grit. After that, we're gonna remove all these plugins like so. And then you will want to add the plugins you typically use for the bottom track. So I would typically have an EQ to filter out the low end and then a compressor to control the low end. Again, just add whatever you want. Then we're gonna also save this FX chain. I'm gonna name it bottom. And now delete all the plugins again. Next, we're going to click the FX button here to bring up the FX browser. Make sure you clear the filter and now go to FX chains and you'll see the two FX chains that you just saved. Right click on one of them and choose create shortcut. And when you see this pop-up window, just close it. Don't do anything. Do the same thing for the other one. Right click, create shortcut and just close it. All right, you can now close the FX browser. Next, go to extensions and cycle action editor. Open it up. If you haven't used it before, this is gonna be empty. Now right click on here, choose add cycle action. Give it a name that you'll recognize because this will show up in the action list later. So I gave it this name and hit enter. Now go to the right side, right click, go to add statement and choose console. Type lowercase n and then type grid. This is basically the track name for the grid track. It doesn't have to be named grid exactly. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure there's no space. Hit enter when you're done. Next, right click on here again and choose add and type 40062 and hit enter. Next, right click on here again and go to add statement, choose console, type lowercase n and then bottom. This is the track name of the bottom track. Again, it doesn't have to be named bottom exactly. You can name it whatever you want as long as there's no space. Hit enter when you're done. Now right click on here again and choose add. And type 40505. Hit enter. Next, right click, choose add selected action. Click yes. Now in here, in the action list, search for the FX chain you just saved for the grid track. So for me is grid. Once you find it, 
like so, highlight it, and go back here, right click, and choose Add Selected Action. You'll see that that action has been added to here. After that, right click on here again, choose Add, and type 40285, and hit Enter. Next, go back to the action list, and search for the FX chain you saved for the bottom track. So for me, it's bottom. Once you find it, highlight it, go back here, right click, and choose Add Selected Action. And now the action has been added to here. Now, the next few steps can be a bit confusing, but don't worry, just follow the steps and you'll be good to go. Right click here, choose Add, and type 40288, and hit Enter. Right click again, choose Add, type in all caps, underscore SWS underscore save, so S A V E S E L. Hit enter. Next, in the action list over here, search for insert track above selected tracks. Once you find it, highlight it, go back here, right click, and choose add selected action. Next, right click on here again and choose add and type in all caps underscore SWS underscore restore, so S-E-S-T-O-R-E, -E, and then S-E-L. Hit enter. And then in the action list over here, search for select previous tracks, keeping current selection. Once you've found it, which is this one, not this one, but this one. Highlight it, go back here, right click, add selected action. Next, right click in here, choose add, and type in all caps, underscore SWS underscore make M-A-K-E folder F-O-L-D-E-R and hit enter. Next, right click on here again, choose add and type in all caps underscore SWS underscore U-N-S-E-L children C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N and hit enter. Right click again, choose add, type in all caps, console, space, lowercase n, and then base. This is basically the track name for the base folder track. We're now finally done adding all the commands. So we're gonna go here and click apply. Every time you change something here, make sure you click apply in here. And now let's give it a test. I have a base DI on an empty track here, and I'm gonna select it and then go back here, right click and choose run. As you can see, the action is a success. If you look at the plugins on here, these are the plugins I have for the grid track, and these are the plugins I have for the bottom track. If you look at the naming, it's also all correct. So this is the base folder and the grid track and the bottom track. So now you can find this action in the action list, like over here, and you can assign a keyboard shortcut to it or make a button for it. That way, you can set up the split band processing for the base with just one click of your mouse or just one keyboard shortcut. Your workflow will become way more efficient. If you want to know how to make a button from an action, I have put a link in the description to another Reaper tutorial where I cover that. This next section is for those of you who want to split the base DI into three bands. The goal is using just one click or one keyboard shortcut, we're going to turn a base DI track into a high track, a mid track, and a low track with the plugins you want on these tracks so you can control these different frequency bands differently. And lastly, we want to send all these three tracks to a master bass track so you can further process the bass guitar as a whole and control the level of the bass guitar. This is what I'm talking about. I click this button, and boom, the bass DI is split into three tracks and each track has its own dedicated FX chain. The first thing you want to do is in a new Reaper project, create an empty track. And then you want to add the plugins you want the high frequency track to have. So typically I will have an EQ to filter out uh, the frequency I don't need. In this case is anything below 1000 Hertz. And I'll have an MSIM and then I just put the decapitator on here for, for the heck of it. You can add whatever you want here. Just make sure this is for the high track. Once you've added all the plugins you want for the high track, we're gonna save this FX chain. So go to FX, save FX chain, give it a name, Just I'm just gonna name it high. Once you've done that, let's get rid of all these plugins. And now you need to add the plugins for the mid frequency track. 
So typically there is an EQ to filter out the low end and the high end. And then there's an MSIM. And then I throw in Saturn just for the show. Again, once you've added all the plugins you want for the mid track, go here to save it. I'm going to name it mid. Once you have done that, we'll once again delete all these plugins. And now you want to add the plugins for the low track. Usually there's an EQ to filter out everything above 200 hertz or 250 hertz. And sometimes I like to add a compressor on it. And then again, save the FX chain. I'm going to call it low. Next, we'll get rid of all the plugins again. We're going to click the FX button to open up the FX browser and make sure to clear the filter. And we're going to go to FX chains and here you will see all the plugin chains you just saved. So we have the high, we have the mid, we have the low. We want to right click on one of them and choose create shortcut. And when this window pops up, simply close it. Don't do anything else. We're going to do the same thing to the other two. Right click, create shortcut, close it. Right click, create shortcut, close it. And now you can close this window. Next, go to extensions, choose Psycho Action Editor. This window will pop up. And if this is your first time using it, this will be empty. Now right click in here, choose Add Psycho Action. Give it a name that you'll recognize because this will show up in the action list later on. So I just named it Custom Split Bass 3 Band. Now we're going to go to the right side here, right click, go to Add Statement, and choose console. Type lowercase n and then the word high. This is basically the track name for the high frequency track. It doesn't have to be named high exactly. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure there is no space. Hit enter once you're done. Next, right click on here again and choose add and type 40062 and hit enter. Right click again. Go to add statement, console, type lowercase n, and type mid. This is the track name for the mid frequency track. Hit enter when you're done. Next, right click again, choose add, and type 40062. Hit enter. Right click again, go to add statement, choose console, type lowercase n, and type low. This is the track name for the low frequency track. Next, right click, choose add, and type 40286 and hit enter. We're going to do this exact same thing again. Right click, add 40286. Then right click, choose add selected action. Click yes, and the action list will show up. In here, search for the FX chain you saved for the high track. So for me is high. Once you found it, highlight it, Go back here, right click, and choose Add Selected Action. So now that action is being ported over here. Next, right click over here, click Add, and type 40285. And then once again, in the action list, search for the FX chain you saved for the mid track. For me is mid. If you are having trouble narrowing down the action, you can add Insert at the beginning. So now we found it. Highlight it. Go back here, right click, and choose Add Selected Action. And now right click, choose Add, and type 40285. Do the same thing for the low track. So go back to the action list, find the low track, which is this one, highlight it, go back here, right click, and choose Add Selected Action. After that, go to the action list again and search for Close All Floating FX Windows which is this one, highlight it, go back here, right click and add selected action. And then right click, add and type 40288 and do the exact same thing again. So right click, add 40288. Next, right click again, choose add and type in all caps, underscore SWS, underscore save. So S-A-V-E and then S-E-L. Hit enter. Next, in the action list, search for insert track above selected tracks, which is this one. Highlight it, go back here, right click, 
and choose Add Selected Action. Right click on here again, choose Add, and type in all caps, underscore SWS underscore Restore. So R-E-S-T-O-R-E, -E, and then S-E-L, and hit Enter. Then in the action list again, search for select previous tracks, keeping current selection, which is this one, not this one. Highlight it, go back here, right click and choose add selected action. Next, right click on here, choose add and type in all caps, underscore SWS underscore make folder. So M-A-K-E-F-O-L-D-E-R and hit enter. Then right click on here again, choose add and type in all caps underscore SWS underscore UNSEL children, C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N, hit enter. Lastly, right click on here, choose add and type in all caps console space lowercase n and then base, hit enter. This is the track name for the base folder track. Again, you can name it whatever you want as long as it doesn't include spaces. We're now finally done adding all the commands. So we're gonna go here and click apply. Remember, anything you change in here, make sure you click apply. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And now let's give it a test run. So I have a base DI here and I'm gonna select the track and go here, right click and choose run. Voila. You can see that the bass has been split into three tracks, a high track, a mid track, and a low track. And each track has the corresponding plugins that you have saved for it. So for the top track, I have the Decapitator. For the mid track, I have the Saturn. And for the low track, I have the EQ and the Compressor. And they're all grouped into this master bass bus. So you can do further processing on here, use this as the uh, level control. So now you can find this in the action list. So if you go here and search for split base three band, and it's right here. You can assign a keyboard shortcut to it or make a button for it. That way you can set up the split band processing for the base with just one click of your mouse or one keyboard shortcut. Your workflow will become way more efficient. If you want to know how to make a button from an action, I've put a link in the description to another Reaper tutorial where I cover that. That's it for this video. Give it a like if you find it helpful and subscribe for awesome music production content every week. Now get back to your doll to make some music and I'll see you next time.